Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I am starting the vlog. It's Saturday, I'm a little late this week. I had some things going on. I, um, oh, see this red? I am broke out down here. I went to the dentist and I am, so I, long story short, I've had a ton of dental work done. I had some issues with my back teeth. They had to be removed. I tried like crowns and it just end result. I had, I'm missing some back teeth. So after several years of getting my teeth back online and investing in my mouth and all that, it's time. I'm going to get a partial, partial denture, I think they're called, um, just to fill in some gaps. Nothing dramatic, but it was time. So I did all the work I had to do, and now um, it's time to get them, and they're expensive, and the denture work was expensive, so that's why it took a little longer than I was hoping for, but that's okay. Anyway, I got gum, I'm sorry. I went in on Wednesday morning and maybe it was Tuesday, the 7th, whatever day that was. I went in and they were doing the molds, impressions of my teeth. And the, <laughs> God love my dentist, I love her. She had this goop, all, it was all over my face. You know, because they're working quickly and my mouth area is pretty small, so, you know, it's fine. I had goop all over this stuff, but it dried up. It feels like silly putty in your mouth. Oh, it was awful. But it dries up on your skin. So the girl that was helping out, she's like, I have some face wipes for you to help you get that stuff off. So I'm wiping it and wiping it. I'm like, this smells weird. I'm pretty sure they were cleaning wipes, not facial wipes that she gave me, like Clorox wipes. I don't know. Can you see? All the red and all, everywhere I wiped, my skin, it feels like I got a sunburn at the beach. And right now, I haven't been videoing because my skin has been peeling. I mean, I've been putting like Vaseline on it at night trying to help moisturizer, so it's getting better, but I don't know what she gave me. Now, to her defense, I have very sensitive skin, but I'm fairly certain the wipes that she gave me were not for skin. I'm pretty sure they were like for cleaning surfaces, whatever. So. I haven't been making, I didn't start my vlog because I've been fighting this rash. Burn, actually. I mean, it hurts. You can see the red here. It's really bad right here in this area. So, there's that. Then I went to Goodwill Volunteers of America. I was on the hunt for, I'm on the hunt for a cutting board. An old cutting board. I want to sand it down and I want to make a charcuterie board for Thanksgiving. So I need to get on it because everything that I've read says that any type of like polyurethane or wood sealer is food safe after 30 days. It has to cure for 30 days and then you can I can use it as a charcuterie board. I don't want to use it as a cutting board. I want to serve like meats and cheeses on it and I'm going to personalize it and do all that. So I've been on the hunt and I'm not finding what I want. So I'm getting ready here to go into Marshall's and see if maybe they just have a cutting board and I won't do it. But I really wanted to make my own, but we'll see. So anyway, I was in Vaughn. That's the other thing. I don't even know if they sell wooden cutting boards at secondhand stores or at thrift stores. I don't know. I should probably find that out. I won't stop wasting my time looking. You know, if they don't even sell wood cutting boards. I saw glass cutting boards. 
but I didn't see any wood cutting boards. What is going on here? Ugh, my allergies. And if you can see, it's it's only 4.30. It's been overcast all day. I'm wearing my Hocus Pocus t-shirt. You'll I'll show you when I get home. It says sisters. Um, because next weekend is Hocus Pocus night with the cousins. So we're gonna all get together and watch it because it's my, my favorite. And we're coming up on my birthday, so it'll be a nice get together with my family. I don't know what we're doing for my birthday. I was, my niece asked me and I said, well, let's just have dinner because it's COVID. Like I don't, yes, I'm turning 50, but we don't need a big party. It's COVID, right? Oh my gosh. The dollar, the dollar tree is insane. Okay, thanks. Thank you. I wasn't have my blinker on to park there or anything. Oh, people. But I did find something fun, and I'll show you now that I'm parking, at Volunteers of America. So we're obsessed, a family of mine is obsessed with um, leggings. <laughs> These are for my little cousin. I bought these. They were $4.99. I'm telling you, these have never been washed. This is tech gear. They are just like my pop fits with the two big pockets, three quarter length. And they were $4.99. Now, I know for a fact they go for more than that because I just bought a pair for my niece for Christmas from Kohl's. So, this is Kohl's brand. I just bought her a pair for Christmas and I spent $27 on them. They were on sale. So I got a good deal on those. I'm fairly certain they've never been worn. If they have been worn, it's like once or like one time wash, but I don't even think they've been laundered. Not that it matters, but I just thought $5 was a really good deal. So I picked them up for her so that um, she could have them. So I'm going to bring them to her house. All right, Dollar Tree time. I want to get in my bed. <laughs> It's not going to happen. Do you see what's happening here? I'm cleaning out the closet. Ugh. All right, let's do it. Whew, it's Sunday morning. I just ran to Aldi. Who knew? I mean, I should have known. But I'm, be I'm blaming Bargain Beauty for this. 100% going to blame her, girl. If you're watching, I'm blaming you. She showed, so her store gets their stuff loaded up the night before on Saturday night. So she was in, she does a walkthrough, I watch it, I love it. Girl. My cats are obsessed with cat scratchers. The cardboard, they love them. And A, I need one, because I just threw away their old one. You know, they get destroyed, it takes about a month and they will scratch the holy heck out of it well target and for years they put these out but they've become like a little cult favorite target um sells like haunted houses and christmas gingerbread houses and you know fun seasonal cat scratching things my boys don't care but i think they're adorable but Target has outpriced themselves. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not paying $17 for a cardboard for my cat to scratch up. <clears throat> and they have some that are $30. No, not going to do it. So I was like, you know what? I'll just go to Walmart or whatever and get the boys just a plain old cardboard scratching pad. Because that's really all they want. But I was watching Bargain Beauty last night and she showed that... Aldi was getting the cat scratchers in the Halloween house for $7.99. So I ran in last night just to see if my store, because I don't pay attention to that at Aldi. I mean, I go shopping on Sunday, but you know, usually by the time I get there, any of the stuff in that fun aisle is gone or picked through, whatever. And again, there's really never been things that I have to have. And I didn't, mind you, I did not have to have the cat scratcher. So I was like, girl, you're going in at 9 a.m. Get your little cat scratchers and call it a day, right? 
There was a line, a line at Aldi. And I mean, people were like with their carts getting all up on ya. I wanted a cat scratcher. Apparently, this is every Sunday morning, who knew? And there was this table that they ha all the had had several, several times. And it was uh, this teal like entry table or something, side table, whatever. So I guess most of the people were in line for that. There we only had one. I'm like, oh, I want a cat scratcher. So I needed a, a lady to help me because I'm standing there and people are literally pushing their carts up on me and shoving me down this aisle and I walked right past them twice. Have no fear, I got two. Again, nobody's in there trying to buy cat scratchers. Although they had adorable dog treats too. But my girl Luna won't eat dog treats. Well, these kind, they're hard. She doesn't like the hard ones. All right, I will put together the cat scratcher with you. So give me a second, we'll go inside and put it together. Okay, here's one that I got. Hi, Alex. Hi, baby. I got my vacuum back there. All right, this is the one that I think I liked the most. It was the most Halloween with like the Raven. They had a third one, but I just got these two. And then, oh, hi, buddy. I picked up this one, which I just feel is more fall. I mean, they're both Halloween, but I might save it for next year or I might put it together. We'll see how long they last. But we're going to build the white one first. We got the catnip going. I don't have it in there yet, buddy. Okay, well. He loves him scratcher. Yeah. It's yours. Just putting catnip on it for him. He loves catnip. baking I would give you the recipe except I don't have the recipe yet I'm kind of making this up on the fly um, but what I'm doing well first off back here those are brookies for my co-worker her mom passed away makes me sad um, and she asked me if I would make these for her family when they get together on Tuesday so they're cooling right now um, and I'm taking all this is not almond flour this is for me I'm coming up with a cheesecake bar I've made them before but the recipe that I use is way too big I don't need that much of this so I'm using walnut flour melted butter and a little bit of sweetener don't even ask me how much of what, because honestly, I don't even have measurements at this juncture. You just need, ooh, and you need to not spill all over your countertops. But right now, I'm just, I melted the butter. I got the walnuts. And I'm just stirring it up, right, because that's how you go. And I have a pan. Here, I'll move you down so you can see. I might need some cinnamon. 
Let me get some cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice. What do you think? I have allspice, I have nutmeg, clove, and ginger. Well, we'll use some pumpkin pie spice down here. Now, see, you're seeing how I do things. Not real well. This is going to go in the oven. So first I'm mixing up my crust, if you will. Um, you can use almond flour, ground pecans, really any type of a, of a nut based flour is going to work for this. Um, last year when I made it, I used, what did I use last year? Last year, oh, I used ground pecans. And it was delicious, but I wanted something different this year um, for Thanksgiving, right? Because that's how we roll. Here, I'm going to get a glass jar out. You definitely want to pack it pretty tight. Oopsies. Well, that's not working. Um, because there's really nothing in here to like flour. So you want to kind of get it in here nice and tight when it bakes and it will stay together like a crust. And like I said, this is gluten free at this point. I'm pretty sure this whole recipe is gluten free. If you're even a gluten free person, I don't know, but we have a crust. Okay. Done. Now, I'm going to make cheesecake mix, which is egg, cream cheese, and sweetener and vanilla. That's pretty much the extent of the cream cheese mixture. And I'm going to layer it on top of this. Then I'm going to put it in the freezer and let it firm up. So when I pour the pumpkin mixture on top of it, I'm going to have to get the vacuum out now. When I pour the... Um, the pumpkin mixture on top of the cheesecake, I don't want it to sink in. So I want to mix up real quick, I gotta wash my pan, and then I'll mix up the cream cheese layer for the cheesecake. And then I'll come back later and mix in, or mix up some pumpkin, which I think I'm gonna do like a half a recipe of pumpkin pie just to float on top of here but I'll show you so right now I'm just gonna wash my pans and get this in the here's how I dry my <laughs> that pan I put it in an oven while I wash this pan out all right we'll be back I have my cream cheese it was I can tell you this measurement 12 ounces of cream cheese so a stick and a half or a brick and a half two eggs about a third of a cup of my sweetener and some pure vanilla and then in the pumpkin I'm gonna add some maple in the pumpkin portion of this but right now I'm just going to put the cream cheese mixture in here right and then I'm gonna go I'm the only one eating it and my hands are clean. There we go. Pumpkin mixture is in. I taste it. Yes, yes, I know. Raw eggs, bad, whatever. But I need to know if I have enough sweetener in it. And then the next step is I need seven ounces for the recipe of pumpkin. I freeze mine in quarter of a cup. So we'll see. But I wanna flatten it out. You wanna get any bubbles out. I'm going to go stick this in my freezer and let it firm up while I make the pumpkin pie. Okie dokie. <laughs> Here is my sort of pumpkin pie recipe. I just wing it, guys. There are eight ounces of pumpkin in here, half a cup of cream, a couple eggs, some sweetener. I put some maple, maybe need some more spices. It's custard. The base is eggs and cream. 
So there we go. That might even be too much. We'll have to see when it comes out of the freezer. But for now, that's what we got. This is the top layer. If it works, maybe I'll write it down. If not, well, then we'll try again. But I'll let you know. Okay guys, here are the cheesecake pumpkin bars. I think they turned out really well. Look at those layers. The one thing I'll do different next time, I don't love the walnut crust. I think it got a little overcooked. I'll go back to almond flour the next time. I'll use the walnuts for something else. But that is what I baked today and they turned out very lovely. You definitely wanna refrigerate them probably overnight and tomorrow they'll be even better. my sweaters at some point and determine which ones I'm keeping, which ones I'm not keeping, you know, donate piles and, and all of that. Like this shirt here, I love the color, but I hate the shirt. I know that's being donated. I gotta try this one on. It was my mama's. So I'm not sure that I'm ready to get rid of it. Same thing with this. It was my mama's. And I'm not sure about this yet. This was new last year. I had was given a bunch of clothes. So that's everything. I hope you have a great night and I will talk with you later.